the questions like this are something, well, maybe it's not quite appropriate for word question in a math class because you do have to define what we mean by current and what we mean by current and the way you should imagine theoretically measuring current is imagine a piece of wire. You can take any small seg segment of current carrying wire and imagine a cross section, kind of a checkpoint and you have um, charges that are moving. And by the way, for most of our discussion of um, current, I'm just gonna imagine that it's a positive charge that's moving. That way I don't have to worry about double negatives and getting the directions right. We'll just uh, pretend that it's a positive charge is moving. And so this is describing the current I, and I'm doing this fully realizing that the correct physical picture here is the negative charges, electrons, <laughs> that are moving the other way. That's what actually describes the current that's described here, but all of that's fine. So the way we define current is this, uh, um, this word description is how we define current. It's the number of charges that cross the checkpoint divided by a unit time. So you look at how many charges have crossed this point over unit time delta t, that's current. So uh, with that definition in mind, answering this is pretty simple. They give you the amount of time, they give you the current, so you can get the amount of charge in coulombs, you just need to convert that to electrons. And because the electron charge is so small, you're going to have basically astronomical number here, something like a 10 to the power of 20 or something, I think. So, so yeah, it's a um, fairly simple um, application of definition of current. And and uh, I think I had these two questions side by side because um, this is an expression you are going to see quite a few times. And there's nothing wrong with the expression. It's not wrong per se, but it is easy to make a mistake. So the expression that you will see many times before the semester is over is this particular differential equation. The current is equal to dq dt. And uh, I want you to notice how I didn't write this down in a previous question. In a previous question, I, you know, I actually could have written it down this way, you know, delta q over delta t. But I deliberately didn't write it down that way because I want you to spell this out. I want you to say number of charges that cross a checkpoint. And when you express current this way with a time derivative of Q, uh, that's not the same thing as what I'm describing here. After, for one, like, what does Q mean? Like in this description of current, there's no dynamical quantity Q that you can take a derivative of. <laughs> like that doesn't exist in a simple uh, battery and a register circuit. So, I want you to highlight it here because this particular expression, which you will see many times, it's a specific to capacitor. It's a specific to current to through capacitor. And um, in that context, this Q refers to amount of charge that is stored on the capacitor. So whenever you see this expression, and it's uh, meant to make uh, some sort of mathematical sense, what it ought to be connected to is this picture here. You have a capacitor and you have some current that's uh, flowing through the capacitor. And I guess if you think about it too much, then it get, it's headache inducing because no charge actually jumps from one plate to the other, but you do have this odd situation where current comes in and there is current leaving. So if you're kind of just forgetting the gap here, it does look like a current that is flowing through a capacitor. So that's the current that I'm referring to. And when I talk about Q here, the Q that I'm referring to is this Q. The, so as current comes in, positive charges will accumulate here. And as the current leaves, 
negative charges uh, will be left behind here. So, or I don't know why I wrote it twice, but this Q is what the Q is referring to. And in this question, that Q is written as a function of time. So it's something you can take the derivative of <laughs> and you can find the current that way. That uh, this particular question is meant to be an answered and um, yeah. And I, I wanted to go through this description because it's, uh, uh, you know, this is an expression you are going to see a few times, especially as we do time dependent circuits. And I just want to make sure that you don't confuse these two descriptions, which are distinctive, even though the, in our typical notation abusing way, the, uh, the way we are writing it appears to be very similar, but their underlying physical meaning is very different. 